Well, friends, it was another crazy day in the stock market. After making headlines and a lot of people millions of dollars, GameStop stock was down 60% today. AMC was also down 40% if you're following along in this story. Both of those were targeted by a group of everyday people on Reddit who work together to game the system. But Gordon Severson explains how it's not just Wall Street that is feeling the wrath of the underdog these days. If you haven't heard about what's going on with the stock market these days, basically it's a modern day David and Goliath story. A bunch of little guys on Reddit work together to beat the big guys at their own game, with some hedge fund managers on Wall Street losing millions basically overnight and some little guys raking in the money. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? Well, actually, Hollywood is already on it. Even though we're still in the middle of the movie, we don't know the ending yet. But is there an even bigger story here? It looks like there's an interesting power dynamic here that the little guy can have power to make changes, not just in the stock market, but it looks like in many other avenues. One person in their grandmother's basement can make some of these things start to happen. Dr. Mike Porter is a marketing so, professor at the University of St. Thomas. He says there has always been a struggle between the haves and have-nots, those with power and those without. But if enough have-nots work together, suddenly the little guy isn't so little anymore. That organizing function, and it can be organized for good or it can also be used to organize insurrection. Over the last few years, we've seen groups of people do all sorts of things that previously seemed unimaginable. Like the Me Too movement that stood up for women's rights, or the social change that's still going on after the death of George Floyd last summer. Or the thousands of people who stormed the U.S. Capitol last month. For better or worse, the little guys are starting to figure out how to make a big impact. There gets to be a point where the organization can say, it's going to be more painful for us to ignore these groups than it is for us to continue on the way that we've been continuing. With enough people on their side, groups can force companies, governments, entire countries to do almost anything. But it's not easy to get everyone together on the same page with the right message. One of the things that we've learned from looking at the internet and communities on the internet over the last couple of decades is that you can't force a community. You can't make that happen. And when it happens, Porter says it's sort of like catching lightning in a bottle. It's hard to recreate that magic. From the corporate side, once that lightning has been seen, people start saying, okay, how do we protect ourselves from that? Leaders are going to say, okay, now we don't like how that happened, and so we're going to put up different kinds of defenses. And the battle continues. Only now, Porter says the little guys are gaining more ground, sending a clear message to the powerful that... You can't necessarily continue as status quo indefinitely. Sooner or later, someone's going to see how things work and there's going to be something like this is outside your expectation that is going to change the rules. So experts say what happened in the stock market then could very likely happen again when online groups try to game the system or basically just all play the same game. It's not even gaming the system. But big time investors learned a pretty hard lesson here by the billions. So the next time this happens, they think they'll be ready for it, and they probably won't lose as much money as they did this time, but always another side of that coin. We'll be right back.